Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janus, creator of Pinay Tech Dad. Today, we're going to be talking about something that I haven't talked about here yet. So this fits perfectly with the theme of Pinoy Tech Dad because dads like me really need something like this if you're driving. It's supposedly DD. PAI, right? But it's actually pronounced as Ding Ding Pi. So this is the Ding Ding Pi Mola N3. And this is the GPS version, which is slightly more expensive than the non GPS version. If you guys want to check out more information about this product, make sure to check out the links that I provided in the description box. All right, so first off, here's a quick unboxing so you guys can see what's included in the package. The installation process is very simple. Even if you don't read the manual that comes with it, you can easily install this on your car. This is equipped with a five megapixel sensor, but it can record up to 1600p, which is officially named as 2K plus resolution. I mean, anything beyond 1440p, but under 4K resolution is considered as 2K plus resolution. So first off, physically, we can find a microphone port right here. <laughs> One thing I like about this is that it's actually reversible. You can attach this facing you inside of the car and you can attach this facing outside of the car. Personally, I wouldn't attach a dash cam to film myself inside of the car but if you're traveling with your family and you want to capture the moments then you can definitely do that now before we continue with the video quality which is the most important thing i would say let's go ahead and talk about something that is a little bit different between the ding ding pi and other dash cams out there so most dash cameras out there are equipped with lithium batteries which could pollute the environment the system is complex and the cost is higher now with the ding ding pi this one is equipped with a super capacitor which is more adaptable to high and low temperatures and for me i think this super capacitor should be better than the lithium battery on other dash cams because this would allow you for more number of cycles and this is less affected by temperature now the one thing that i wanted to test out but i wasn't able to capture was the sr sci-fi driving or the sense reality black technology this would make your driving experience look like a racing game and as for the viewing angle this has a 140 degree viewing angle so this is very wide all right so during daytime you can expect to get great looking video quality on this even though it only has a 5 megapixel sensor you'll be impressed by the video quality i mean it is a 1600p video quality this is way better than your 1080p footage on your regular dash cams the bitrate is very decent at 13 mb And during nighttime, you'll notice that there is definitely some softening on the images. I mean, you're gonna see graininess, but as long as the roads have street lights or other sources of light, then this is gonna be performing really well. You'll still be able to see what's going on on the road when it comes to viewing your videos. This actually has a feature that tells you when the traffic light has changed from red to green. Let's go ahead and talk about the app on this. The app is very intuitive. It's so easy to use. Even if you're just a beginner when it comes to dash cams, 
this won't give you a headache because it's very simple it's easy to use and i'm pretty sure anyone will be able to find their way as long as you know how to use these kinds of apps now if there's one thing that i didn't like about this is when it comes to the port of the micro sd card and yes it can read up to 120 gigabytes of micro sd card capacity but there was something that went wrong when installing the micro SD card. Unfortunately, there is a small gap which you can accidentally insert your micro SD card and that is not the actual slot. So if you're getting this, you better be careful and make sure that you are really inserting the micro SD card in the right slot. That is the only negative experience that I've had with the Ding Ding Pi. So overall, I really love this dash cam. It's very simple to use. It's very convenient. It's quite easy to install. And if you wanna take off the camera, you can easily uninstall it from your base and you can bring it anywhere you wanna go. All right, so what do you guys think about the Ding Ding Pi Mola N3? Let me know in the comment section. And if you guys wanna get yourself your own Ding Ding Pi, it's gonna be on sale and I'll have vouchers in the description box. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell button so you can watch more videos like this in the future. That's it for today, guys. Keep safe and have a great day.